Okay, so I think I'm going to react to Duran Duran's new single now. Here's why I'm doing this. I'm not going to play it. Obviously, I don't do clips. We know about me and clips. But I've been a Duran since I was eight years old. I, um, when I was growing up, I had their poster. My mom let me put it in the dining room. <laughs> um, she loved Simon. And I've seen them about more than 50. I don't think I've seen them 20 times. I've seen them somewhere between 15 and 20 times in concert. Don't ask me how I can't count that. But um, over the years. And uh, my mom went with me a couple times actually. When I was older. She never took me. But I took her. But anyway. Um, so yeah. It's been a privilege of a lifetime to be their fan. Um, you know with the way things have gone the last little while especially in lockdown I sort of didn't like how people were moving to online concerts and stuff so I got a little miffed because I didn't want to make that transition and I didn't want anybody helping with that transition so I was kind of pissed that they did one <laughs> which it's, again it's none of my business to speculate about famous people I spent my whole life caring about <laughs> of course it is anyway I um I'm gonna go listen to the song and we'll see. And I will come back. I think you can hear the weed whacker that's outside. I will come back and tell you my immediate thoughts because I haven't listened to it at all yet. I didn't even realize it was there because I had I had unsubscribed from everybody because I wanted to turn over New Leaf. It didn't work. I started resubscribing person by person. I forgot to subscribe to them. But yeah. So I didn't even know it came out until I saw it on Twitter that they were talking. Oh, not even. No, the Today Show this morning. They were showing a little bit of the video, which looked creepy. I didn't really hear the song, though, so we'll see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, so I really like that a lot. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm a fan of theirs, so I like their sound. But um, that's, like, on the higher end of the music they've made since Astronaut. I mean, Astronaut was almost perfect. Um, Miss Andy. But that video, <laughs> um, the creepy ass version of John was the creepiest of the creepy ass versions, but I, I'm reading it at the beginning and I'm like, oh my God, don't tell me they're going to be the ones to, <laughs> you know, initiate the AI that take us over all the Skynet stuff. Right. And I'm thinking about Skynet. I'm trying to remember Skynet and then <laughs> at like a minute and 44 seconds into that video. I thought they said Skynet, and I went, <gasps> <laughs> I think they said Skylight, but I, I had to go back like three times to see if they said Skynet. Um, yeah, I don't like that video at all. Um, they can, they've always done, they've always been on the forefront to net technology over the years, which kind of left me behind because I, of course, I don't have any money. And at some point there became tiers of Durani's based on money, you know, you know, when the, the group started having VIPs. VIP fans who could afford it because I mean if you were a and you really hung around you knew like their biggest fans were ultra rich and I don't mean Robert Downey Jr. I mean like just the fans that would hang out and wait I mean one girl I, she was very very rich like she was the daughter of somebody who owned a fast food chain okay so and when it started being like that and that happened with all groups I kind of had to take a back seat because I couldn't afford to be you know, a fan the way I would have been normally. And I know I complain about money all the time. It's what the world runs on. But the point, the, anyway, the song, I really like the song. Um, I just wasn't able to keep up with the other fans for that reason. That's what I'm trying to say. But um, I'll probably watch it. Watch the. I, I was trying to close my eyes for some of that video to listen to it instead of getting distracted by a <laughs> really creepy looking John Taylor. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... There's a thing about, like, I'm listening to Simon's voice, and it's kind of like a cell in these times, but it, then again, it links me to a world that I remember that I could be happy in. And sometimes, this used to happen to me with Frank Sinatra, even before when I was going through a tough time, like, you would think listening to people that you love or it would make you feel good. But I remember one time walking around listening to Frank Sinatra on my headphones here 
in this place where I didn't want to be and I was like I can't reconcile the beauty going in my ears with what my eyes were taking in because <laughs> it was too too much of a difference and and some some music attaches me to a time and a place where I was happy and hopeful younger had a better life and I'm not saying that's the case of Duran Duran I'm not taking anything out on this just almost towards the end of the, the video I wanted to start tearing up because it was like uh, how how am I hearing Simon look how am I oh my god how am I hearing Simon with the way I feel right now Jesus it's not gonna help but it's not their fault but anyway the song is great I, I think it's gonna be a song I like very much I know they did a whole album I know I think they're supposed to be on that thing I don't even know if my TV is still gonna be on on Sunday on um, is it an award show it's something um, but yeah so I, it sounds great um, if I don't catch it on the award show I'll catch it online um, their performance what is the show Sunday night I'll figure it out and I'll put the thing but yeah I, re I really liked it um, again it's been a privilege to be a fan of Duran Duran including Andy I don't know what Andy's up to I hope he's okay um, yeah it was great